Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's examine the announcements of Lion, iOS 5, and iCloud. So no big surprise in the features for Line. We've known about all of them for quite a while. Things like replacing spaces and expose with mission control. Also AirDrop, a feature that allows you to sync files between your machines. And also a new version of Mail. But what is new is that we have a release time and a price down. It will come out in July and it will cost 30 bucks. Now the cool thing is you're going to buy this through the Mac App Store. So if you buy it on one Mac and you have another Mac that's using your same Mac App Store account, you get that upgrade for free. So people with a laptop and a desktop will only have to pay 30 bucks once to upgrade to Lion. Now this is the first time we've been hearing about new features planned for iOS 5. One of the big new things is a whole redesign about how notifications work. There will be a notification center and instead of being interrupted with this little alert pop up, you actually get notifications at the top of the screen. We're also going to have some new apps. One of the big new ones will be Newsstand which looks like it's going to be iBooks but for newspapers and magazines. And there's also going to be a free new messaging service called iMessage that will work between iOS devices and you won't have to pay your service provider for those messages. Also one of the cool features is quicker access to camera. There will be a camera button on the lock screen. You press it and you can just get into your camera app and take a picture. And you can use the volume up button to snap that photo. Almost lost as a footnote was the announcement that in iOS 5 you'll be able to use AirPlay to mirror the screen to say an Apple TV. So you can actually show what's on your iPhone on your television. There's also a lot of talk about how you don't really need a Mac or PC anymore with an iOS device. You can just have the iPad or the iPhone. You can activate it without connecting to your computer and do a lot of the tasks like creating new calendars and such just on that device. iOS 5 is scheduled to come out in the fall and developers will get a preview of it starting this week. Now iCloud is going to be the new service that will completely replace MobileMe. Matter of fact you can't even sign up for a MobileMe account anymore. And better still it's going to be free. You won't have to pay for it like you did with MobileMe. What it's going to do is allow you to sync information including calendar events, contacts, mail messages, photos, and documents and do that wirelessly between iOS devices and Macs and PCs. It doesn't look like something you have to manually manage. Like you have to manually put something on say your iDisk and then bring it down. It's something that will happen automatically. So you say take a photo on your iPhone and then it will automatically appear in your photos collection on your iPad and in iPhoto on your Mac. And it looks like it's going to take over iWork.com as well because it works with Pages, Numbers, and Keynote to have documents you create in those applications available throughout your devices. And it has a great effect on iTunes because what will happen is when you purchase something in iTunes it will be available on your Mac and on all your iOS devices. Now what's interesting is a new service called iTunes Match that will be part of this. You pay 25 bucks a year and it will take all of your music that you didn't get from iTunes, say you ripped it from CDs, and it will upgrade it to the current iTunes versions of those songs and then share them between your devices. And it will even take songs that it can't match and just simply upload them to space that you've got in iCloud. Now iCloud will be out in the fall along with iOS 5 but you can already use iTunes in the cloud this week to synchronize new music that you purchase in iTunes. What remains to be seen though is what's going to happen with MobileMe services that weren't mentioned today. For instance iDisk and the ability to have websites up there created in iWeb. So that sums it up. But there's a ton of information and it's all available at Apple.com. They've got pages on Lion iOS 5 and iCloud there. Lots of detailed information and we'll probably know more as each of these gets closer to release. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.